Welcome back and good morning. 642. We can't live without them, but the hope is that we never have to call on them. Firefighters are charged with saving our homes and our lives around the clock. Katrina Weber spent some time at the place that firefighters in Leon Valley call home while you were sleeping. If these lights are on, it usually means no one is home at Leon Valley's fire station. Instead, crews may be headed to other people's homes or to places where they hurt and need help. Usually a motor vehicle accident, somebody having chest pain, somebody unresponsive. Assistant Chief Eric Burnside says most emergencies in this three and a half square mile city within a city have firefighters using their paramedic skills. Fewer and farther between are actual fires. Although one night back in February, they had more than their share. Despite their efforts, two homes were damaged. I just think about the other calls, the people that we have helped, the things where we made a difference. At times like that, Captain Wade Clapper tries to focus on the positive. For first responders, the losses can be tough to bear. Those calls that involve children, especially younger children, uh, have the most effect on on us here. Also tough is their schedule. They work all day and all night, 24 hours at a time. This is one job where although they're on the clock all night long, they actually do get to sleep. But how much depends on the amount of calls that they have. And right now, this happens to be one of those quiet times. At night, yeah, it's quieter. It's a little bit more low key. But when the weird things start happening, oh man, they really start happening. On this night, firefighters were scheduled for training. But after a day of nonstop calls, they instead took time to rest. We have a lot of fun at our job. We enjoy our job. It's not a job so much as, as the way of life. Even on sleepless nights, they say it's all worth it to help others in need. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.